As a music executive, Jason Flom launched the careers of Katy Perry, Lord, and Kid Rock, just to name a few. But now he's marching to the beat of a different drum, helping the helpless. When I was a kid, I wanted to be a rock star. I was sure I was gonna be a rock star. What I lacked in talent, I made up for in chutzpah. My music industry journey has taken me to places I never thought I would get to. I ended up running three of the major record companies, Atlantic Records, Virgin Records, and the Capitol Music Group. I've been lucky to discover some great rock bands like Skid Row, and Kid Rock, and Matchbox 20. My current title is Chairman and CEO of Lava Records. We have great artists like Lord, Greta Van Fleet, whose shirt I am currently rocking. Now that I run a small company, I have a lot more time to be able to devote to doing the things I'm so passionate about. 1990. Two was the year I first got involved in criminal justice reform. I saw something on TV about a guy had been sentenced to death and the Innocence Project had taken his case and ultimately proven that he had been innocent and saved him from being executed. This hit me in a way that was so profound. That's literally the worst thing that anyone could experience is to be arrested and locked up forever or sentenced to death for a crime that you did not commit. I knew I had to get involved. I called up the Innocence Project and I said, I've got to be a part of this. I became the first board member and I started something called the Life After Exoneration Program at the Innocence Project because I've been very focused on post-exoneration work and helping the exonerees themselves reintegrate into society. There's so much joy in being able to be a part of something where you're able to win freedom for a person who's been wrongfully convicted. And that's why I'm going to do more and more of this with every breath I have until I don't have any more breaths in the Jason joins us, and I was just going to say, I would like to take a moment to applaud you because what you're doing is so incredibly selfless. What in the criminal justice system has surprised you the most? The most surprising things about the criminal justice system to me that I've learned, first of all, is the mass, of the, the mass incarceration problem is just so enormous. And when you look at it, America has 4.4% of the world's population. We have 25% of the world's prison population. We have 33% of the world's female prison population. What are we doing? Like, these are, what are, that doesn't make any sense. Are we more evil than other people? Because if not, we're doing something wrong. Our crime rates are no different than other Western countries. So that's problem number one that, that just blows my mind. And it's something that I've dedicated most of well, my entire adult life to trying to alleviate. But the other thing is the crazy frequency of wrongful convictions. And if you don't think it can happen to you, it can. It can happen to you, it can happen to someone you love. And, and I'm here to spread that message. What points could you take home for people who very unfortunately find themselves in that situation? Well, first of all, and this is something that goes on all the time. I mean, you hear the stories of the ones we've been able to get out. I call them the luckiest of the unluckiest people on earth. But it can happen to you. It can happen to someone you love. First thing to know is if you do get arrested for something you didn't do, don't say anything except I want a lawyer. You know, that's, that's the best advice I can give you. You can give your name, your address, and I want a lawyer. Because if you get interrogated without someone there on your side, there's a pretty good chance you're going to end up getting convicted. I'm not soft on crime. I'm tough on injustice, right? I'm one of these people. I believe in law enforcement. I believe we need to have a system of laws. But the, the Constitution is violated on a daily basis in this country. And we have to, you know, we have to stay woke, right? We have to get in front of that and, and demand that our system works fairly for everyone.